Okay, today I'd like to talk about graphing linear inequalities in two variables. And we will start with an example. Graph the solution set for this linear inequality. So let's have a look. Here is our linear inequality that we wish to graph. Negative 3x plus 4y is greater than or equal to 8. And what makes this an inequality is this little symbol right here. That is an inequality symbol, greater than or equal to. Otherwise, that's normally an equal sign. That's what we're used to seeing, an equal sign. And I suppose if it was an equal sign, we could call it an equality. Uh, but typically, we would call those equations. So here we have an example of a linear inequality. And we want to graph what's called the solution set or the, or the solution region. So to start, we need to draw something called the boundary line. Okay, and the boundary line, let's just give an example in general of what a boundary line is. When you have an inequality, you're going to have some sort of boundary line, which is a line on the plane. Okay, so let's just draw a line, an example line here on the plane. This whole thing here, okay, if I were to, you know, if you, this box right here, okay, this is the Cartesian plane. It's like a square, and you can think, well, we've, we've kind of cut it off. It, normally, this could go on forever and ever and ever and ever. And, and and so it's infinite. So when I cut that plane in half, you can think it's just as big on either side. So what we have are we have two halves. We have a half plane on one side of the line, and we have a half plane on the other side of the line. And one of those two sides, we're uh, on one of those two sides, we're going to find our solution region or our solution set. And on the other side, well, it's it's simply not. So our first goal here is we need to determine what is the boundary line for the linear inequality negative 3x greater than or equal to 8. Well, what I like to do, and this isn't the only way you need to do this, essentially the boundary line is I just have to, I have to, just have to change this to an equal sign. right? My boundary line here, I could just say my boundary line, my boundary line, all I have to do is change that inequality, inequality here to an equality. It's going to be negative 3x plus 4y greater than or equal to 8. Okay. So, I suppose it equal to 8. What I like to do, though, is I like to put this into slope y-intercept form. And I actually like to do that with the equality still there, and I'll show you why I like to do that um, in at the end of the problem when we're, when we're coming up with a solution set. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to isolate the y on this inequality. I'm going to get 4y is greater than or equal to 3x plus 8. And if I divide both sides by 4, I get y is greater than or equal to 3 over 4x plus 2. Now, if I were to now change this to an equal sign, I essentially have y equals 3 over 4x plus 2 as my boundary line. Right, so we've got a boundary line here. Oh, it looks like my, my E didn't show up there for, for, for line. Okay, so 3 over, three over 4x plus 2, well, my y-intercept is 2, and if I use the slope, I go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I can plot another point, and I can simply use my line tool here to uh, draw my line. Okay, so this is review from, from Math 10. Uh, graphing lines. So a very, very important uh, prerequisite knowledge. You need to be able to graph lines and to be able to change lines to different forms to solve linear inequalities. So I now have my boundary line. And my boundary line, uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about this in another video, can either be solid or dashed. A solid line means that I have an equality that's greater than or equal to, and a dashed line if it was simply greater than or less than uh, then I would have a dashed line. But in this case, we have greater than or equal to, so it's going to be a solid line, which indicates that the points on this line are also a part of my solution region or solution set.
So the reason, now I'm going to talk about this right now, the reason I like to do this with the inequality still there is because now I have something that says, well, y is greater than or equal to this line, i.e. my boundary line, 3x plus 2, which means to me that that just means it's greater than, it's above. My solution set should be above this line or on the line right here. And I simply very easy and visually just draw that right in. Now, the other way to determine where the solution set is, is to test a point. And I always encourage you, even if you do this, where, where you're able to understand, hey, you know what, it must be above this line. I encourage you to test a point anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to test a point on the other side. We're going to test a very easy point. We're going to test the point 0, 0. Is that a solution? Uh, now, intuitively, we're going to say, well, no, that shouldn't be a solution. Uh, because it should be above this line. Well, let's just test it anyway. If I plug in 0, 0 to my original um, inequality here, what am I going to get? I'm going to get 0 plus 0 greater than or equal to 8. And is this true? No, this is not true. 0 is not greater than or equal to 8, which means that 0, 0 is not a solution. This point right here is not a solution. And your solution region is either on one side or the other of the boundary line, not both. Whoops, that's a very big eraser. Uh, so it's not a solution. Which means that my solution region must be on the other side. So we were correct when we when we uh, in intuitively looked at this and said, well, y is greater than or equal to this line, therefore it must be up here. So there is our solution region. Okay, last little uh, tidbit here. We have this word continuous, and we'll talk a little bit about this, is what does continuous mean? Well, continuous means that there, there's no restriction on my domain here. There's no restriction on, on x or y, which means that all points x and y on this line or above this line are, are included. All points are included in my solution region, me, making it a continuous solution region. We'll talk about uh, solution regions that are not continuous in the next video when we have restrictions on the domain. As well, we'll talk about what happens if you have um, an inequality where you don't have the equality and you have a dash boundary line.